Good morning, my friends. We have an incredibly mild morning. The birds are singing away. And I wasn't sure if we're going to get a sunrise, but now I see the sun has risen. And it's sending incredible light down through the clouds, down to the earth. And that's what caught my eye. I thought, ah, oh, maybe I will just do a little video. Can you hear the birds? They seem to be singing all the way around. And it's so delightful to be leaning out of my window here and it's warm. Well, not warm, but not cold at all. So that's a real pleasure. I've just been here taking care of myself this morning. I've been feeling a bit stressed lately, so doing extra self-care, doing a castor oil pack, which is very helpful for the liver to detox the liver. Really, really simple to do. You just put some castor oil on your underneath your right hand side on your rib cage and put a towel on to stop it spreading round. It's a bit oily and a hot water bottle and lie with that for an hour and it's really soothing. Castor oil pack, great for cleansing. So yeah, I was doing that and just feeling comfortable with that. Wonderful way to detox the liver. So just really enjoying these birds now. So yeah, I just want to share that it's okay not to feel okay. You know, sometimes we don't feel okay. Sometimes there are difficult things going on. See, that's the tour behind the tree there. You can just see the outline when the leaves come out. We'll lose it again. So sometimes it's okay not to feel okay. Well, it's always okay not to feel okay. And sometimes the skies seem dark and we're not sure if the light is going to come through or not. And we're not sure what to do. And we're not sure of the next step to take. What's the best thing to do? It's a lot of very conflicting and challenging information going around and not sure what we can believe in, not believe in. Which is really why it's so important to just take care of ourselves and just get into our um, self-nurture, self-care. And when we do that, Ah, the bird landed in the tree there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a crow. Let's see if I can bring it a little closer. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. So, having a problem bringing the bird. There, there it is. Can you see it sitting on top of the, the hawthorn tree? It's my favourite tree. So sometimes we don't know what to believe and what to follow. But if we take care of ourselves, if at that moment when we're not feeling okay, we just come back to ourselves with better self-care, taking care of our mental health, but also our physical bodies. Because we have something called the mind-body connection that if our physical health is out, it's going to throw out our mental health. And if our mental health is out, it's going to throw out our physical health. So it's about working with both of those things together. And not feeling okay is a big sign that we're out of balance. So if we can take care of our physical and mental health by self-nourishing, self-care, and that means giving yourself lots of space to really 
be in touch with your own needs. Hello, crow. That was the crow on the tree. I just did a big, big... There's another crow up there. We have lots of crows here. So it's about noticing when we're not feeling okay and saying, all right, I can be with that. There's a pigeon down in the tree now. I can be with not being okay and that means that I have to pay attention to myself some more. What do I need now? What's important for me now in this moment? So Lynn, what's important for you in this moment? What do you notice that you need to do? What do you notice you need to do for your health and your well-being? So I'm noticing that I need to um, pull back on certain things that stress my nervous system. So, although I love drinking tea, I've stopped drinking tea for a few days because that caffeine just pushes my adrenaline. So just, I need less adrenaline right now. I need to be more relaxed. And go into bed earlier. So the golden time for body repair is between 10 a 10 p.m. and 2 p.m. So going to bed earlier. See the pigeons in the trees? So I'm going to bed earlier. I'm focusing on healthier food, resting and doing some self-healing. Nature provides us with wonderful gifts for self-healing all sorts of natural ways of approaching one's health. So I'm happy to help anyone who is wondering about their health and they need some support with that, whether it's mental health or physical health. So what are you doing for your self-care right now? What do you need help with? What do you need to prioritise? Where are you going out of balance? And I think the biggest stressful factor right now is the TV and all the propaganda that's in the media making us feel massively afraid. So if you can give yourself an opportunity to turn it off and move away from those sources that make you fearful, just turn them off. Move away from them because there's nothing to fear. that we are sovereign beings and we're really, really powerful if we take care of ourselves. So I don't know if you can see that in the distance, that diagonal line halfway across the landscape in the middle of the fields. It's a line of water and it's the River Brew. And it was flooding the fields, it was overflowing a few days ago. And you can see all the ditches here that were dug by the monks in the 10th century because this used to be an inland sea as this was part of the ancient isles of Avalon so the legend is that Joseph of Arimathea that was the uncle of Jesus sailed on this inland sea on a Roman boat he was a trader he was um, um, I don't know if he was a tin trader or something, but he sailed up here. And that first hedge that you can see, the first field and then the first hedge, that's the shoreline. That was the ancient shoreline. When the fields flood, they don't normally go past there. And then you can see the circle of trees, which is the healing water spring. And behind that, the corner of the field, is the Roman dock where Joseph of Arimathea is said to have landed and to walk, to have walked up Wirral Hill where he planted a staff that grew into the holy thorn tree. So that's the legend and it's also said that he brought Jesus here as a young boy when he was a young boy and he brought the chalice from the Last Supper here containing the blood of Christ and that was buried in Chalice Hill, which is over to the left of me here. 
across from Wirreal Hill next to the Tor. And the that's the reason why we have the Chalice Well Spring, which has the red water, which is said to be the red blood of Christ. So, I don't know if you can see this amazing sunbeam piercing the clouds now, coming down to the land. So how about we just spend some time together and set our intentions for the day. We've got a beautiful day ahead of us, at least here in Glastonbury, at Healing, at Healing Water. So let's, let's settle together in this moment and if we're sitting down just feeling our bottoms on the seats. And this is a way of just regulating your nervous system. Hi Lyron, regulating your nervous system whenever you begin to feel activated and stressed just take time to do this. So you sit down or you can stand up somewhere but the important thing is just to feel your body tune into your body in this kind of mindfulness meditation so feeling your bottom on the seat where you're sitting just noticing that in this moment and just tuning in here now to the sounds of the birds they're exquisite So just taking a breath and a long out breath. Just allowing yourself to settle in this moment into where you're sitting, settling into your pelvis. Feeling your bottom on the seat. Being aware of your feet on the floor. Taking a breath and a long out breath. And just allowing your shoulders to drop. Feeling the weight of your arms. Noticing your hands. Noticing what you feel with your hands. And just hearing the sounds of the birds here. Knowing that you are a divine being. And that you are unique. Taking a breath and a long out breath. And the out breath just brings down your adrenaline. Allowing your jaw to soften and drop. And allowing your rib cage to soften and drop being aware of your belly and just hearing the sound of the birds here such sweetness the light is piercing the clouds and Bathing the earth, the light is coming through. It's so powerful. And we are beings of light in a physical body. So in this moment, just opening your attention to yourself as a divine being. 
Just bring in your awareness to your heart or your crown chakra. Just opening up the connection to your higher self, to God, however you name or experience it in this moment. Just opening. Hi Richard. Just open into that and know that you have a powerful connection and that you are divine. You are part of the divine. And just asking for guidance in this moment. What is important for me now? What is important for me here today? And just notice as you do that. Notice your body. You may not get information in words. But just noticing what's happening in your body. What is important for me here today? And taking a breath into that. And allow it to flow, allow that wisdom to flow into your body. You, you know what's right for you. Just ground in yourself now, in this wisdom, in this self-knowledge. You know what's best for you. You are divine. You are sovereign. And just hear in the songs of the birds how beautiful they are. The birds know what to do. Nature always knows what to do. We are nature. We have the same wisdom within us. And it's okay when we don't feel sure of the way. We can just sit back and tune into our higher selves and take care of ourselves, take care of our bodies and our mental health. We can take control of what's right for us. light is really beautiful now, just coming down from the sky in multiple places. The sunbeams piercing the clouds. And just being with me now, witnessing this beautiful landscape. Hearing the birds knowing that we're all interconnected. We are divine. So just set in your intention for yourself for today. And knowing that when we take care of ourselves, it always benefits other people. Doing the right thing for ourselves benefits others. We are interconnected.
So just making a prayer for us all on this day that we are all nourished and cared for and sovereign in our beings. Dear God, dear Goddess, Father, Mother, Creator, please support us and guide us on this day. Guide us into a deeper connection with ourselves, to know our sovereignty. Guide us towards those things that nourish and sustain us. Open us to the beauty of your creation. This magnificent earth that we all share. And support us in our relationships. For healing and connection. Support us finding a calm word when, we, when we're triggered rather than being activated and angry with others. Help us find compassion for the suffering of others around us, even if they feel oppositional to our viewpoints. And support us opening to the light of your wisdom, knowing that we are always moving towards the truth of our own divinity as a part of your divine creation. Thank you for all the support, for all that you do, for all that I see, and for all that I don't understand, that I still have to awaken to. Knowing that there are vast realms beyond, beyond my comprehension at this time. But support me to remain open and curious to your light. And even at times receiving information or understanding that's difficult or challenging for me. And thank you for protecting me from things that I don't have the capacity yet to deal with. That it's too difficult or too painful to have in my conscious awareness. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. And we're so blessed today. There's more sun piercing through the clouds. It's opening up in other patches. It's absolutely amazing and beautiful. So do take the opportunity to share this with other people that it might support. So Lyron, lots of love to you and everyone who's watching. Lots of love to everyone that uh, sees this video, that shares this video. And I'm here to support in any way that I can. If you have problems with mental health or physical health or other things, I'm here to support. And the sanctuary is open for anyone who wants to come to receive help. 
Healing Waters Sanctuary is open to anyone who needs help. So have a lovely day and speak with you soon. Bye for now.